Hello, and welcome back to Alien Isolation. I'm here for some reason. Because, I'm John. Uh, uh, the recording for the audio bugged out for this recording session, so for a while, it's going to be me and John co-commentating this, even though I am scared out of my mind. <laughs> and I don't and like I'm scares. pretty dumb. I don't like scares. I'm pretty at dumb. All. And forgot about this whole session. So, um, I'm probably going to have a horrible time doing this. But I didn't I'm going to have a lovely time. I didn't want to leave John just to... Like re-record this alone, so we're doing. I was together. gonna read from the dictionary. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be too entertaining. <laughs> Just like so many hours of John reading from the dictionary while a scary game happens. Oh, we're at find the breakers. Yeah. What is that thing? So that is a flamethrower. I don't remember where I got that. So I might not have. Um, this is happening before we. I put up like half of the remaining footage, so I might be skipping yep. bits of the game. But that doesn't matter. It's all about. The video at the end. Yep. This is a good muffin. Why are you eating? <laughs> I <laughs> yell at you. I need to eat this muffin. <laughs> I yell at you for eating all the time. <laughs> but I must eat the recording muffin. Recording session. I like yell at you for it. And you just bring more food next time. <laughs> the muffin is delicious. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm hungry. Uh, so where are we going? Uh. To find the breakers, I think. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a flamethrower. I'm gonna burn him. So what is the what is the cannon on the alien's name now? Because I know that you just altered it between whatever you feel. Uh, I think it's still crank. <laughs> it's not dank or fr danky cranky. No, it's not danky Frankie. Yet. Danky Kang. Or danky Kang. Uh, danky Kang's, Kang's the big one. That that vent does not look inviting at all. Oh yeah, there's a lot of blood. I'm very. Uh, this is this is not a good thing. I guess I have a flamethrower. I guess this game can't really do jump scares though. It's more like like hiding type of horror. Oh no, they do jump scares. I mean like very well. They can't do it with the alien though because he just kills you instantly. <laughs> yeah. They can't just be like I'm here because there's no way you can outrun him. Yeah. So oh no, they did that. Really. You'll see later. Oh, well. That's fun. You'll all see later. I like you that. won't remember this, but you'll all see. I like that, um, fire effect. Oh yeah, they do fire very well in this. Looks nice. Oh yeah, that's the passcode thing. Oh, uh, we haven't found that yet? Uh, nope. Haven't found that yet. Iron Torch, haven't found that yet. So what is the Iron Torch? Just, like, leads you to secret rooms? It gives you, uh, more places you can find. Alright. Oh, vents are not I good. I hate those vents. Yes, I've, I've heard online that if there's drool coming out of them and you walk under, you will die instantly. Yep. That has happened so many times. That's fun. The best of pile. Okay, yeah, just... if they want to read this stuff, they gotta pause this. Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy when people do that. It's even if you're not gonna read it, you make sure everyone that wants to can. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna be a douche about it. I'm gonna let people figure it out. Oh, you could You got the passcode from there? Yeah. I didn't yeah. even see that. Oh, yeah, I just searched for the glowing numbers. Oh, is that what happens? Mm hmm. Also, why does a Molotov cocktail need two sensors? What's it gonna I set? don't know. What is it going to sense? Apparently, you can use it as a landmine. Oh. Like the pipe bomb. But still, and the, like and DMP mine. Look at that. that. The Molotov cocktail does not need that to ha that to happen. Like all that stuff. Yeah. You just need a bottle like, with a like a cork, some flammable liquid, and, a, and like a lighter. Yep. Not a cork, but like something. Actually, to probably around. like a uh, cloth or something. Yeah, not, not a cork, but like you know something to put in the top. Yeah. yeah. I forgot if this was the part I died. For your analysis lab. <laughs> yeah, I think this was the part where I got a jump scare. Oh god. Look, I, I don't remember. I, I'm a little girl, so I'm turning down my volume a little bit. Yes, you best turn down your volume. The alien... alien crank is very loud. The thing is, when I normally do this shit, I, um... Oh yeah, I... oh yeah. I had a Molotov ready just in case Crank was over there. Whenever I do this, over I have like the ability to look into the um, what is it, like the audio files, and I can yeah. see the wavelengths of 
of like the all the audio that's going to come up for the next 30 seconds. So whenever yep. the audio in the game gets really high, I just um I just like turn down my volume and get and like brace myself. Oh yeah. That's how I like get through this because sometimes you should actually hear my pitiful screaming later. <laughs> Although we can't really no, I had a few moments where I was pitifully screaming. Well, we can't. We'll, we'll, we'll never hear those moments. They're lost in time. No, I mean the next ones I recorded. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hated it. I hated those things. Uh, I hated the jump scares. Oh Jesus! Did I like so many. Is the one few? Is like the few episodes that I show up in going to be just like the jump scare ones? No, that's the next one. I actually have those recordings. Oh, okay. Good for you. <laughs> and then, like, as you say that around this corner, just like, hello! Hello! Oh, this room looks awful. Oh, yeah. It was incredibly dark. I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, you do Thank have, like... God for the Molotov produces fire. Oh, you don't even have a flashlight, do you? No, I have a flashlight. I just decide not to use it. Oh, yeah, you can just hold a Molotov, I guess. Jesus, this room is like, a it's like the darkest room in the entire game. Yeah, I, mean, I know, right? Uh. You thought something was bad was gonna happen. Something bad's always gonna happen. Oh yeah. That's what's kind of cool about this game is that there's not a lot of like set scares. It's just like the aliens in this area. Somewhere. Oh, there's a couple set scares. Well, there's not as much as like other horror games, like Amnesia, where like every few steps is like a trigger event to something. Oh yeah. But this game is kind of like, there's a few of those, but other times they're like, here's this gigantic-ass area that you have to navigate your way through, and also the alien that will destroy you in one hit. Is somewhere <laughs> like the in second, this area. The second he gets to you, you instantly die. He's, he's like somewhere around here making loud noises. Oh, actually, yeah, you'll see that in the next one, too. Alright. We'll try to avoid So uh, I shouldn't spoil Yeah, we should, spoil we should not, like, talk about the extra stuff. Where's that light coming from? Up there, great. above me. No, it's the camera? Uh, camera. Oh, does that like shoot you if you go in there? Or something? No, it uh, summons guards. Oh, okay. Like the work in Joe's. I also like how the reroute system sounds like an Atari. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> you always hear me make that same sound because I love it. Uh, that's what's cool about. The, I love uh, how the Molotov just lights up an area. <laughs> and just like you have infinitely burning. Like, yep. A wig, a little bit of wig. Yep. But um, this is what's cool. Because about apparently they have that in space. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's infinite fire. And then just you put in case it, you know you the, we need fire. You put the lit bottle in your pocket. <laughs> yep. I currently have three. Oh, here he comes. Oh Jesus! Did he just you like walk that. in here and out the other door? I think so. Oh my God! <laughs> I think he saw the fire and just ran away. Oh, there he is. Rest in peace. Burn. Oh, you actually scared him away. Yeah. Oh he doesn't God. like fire. Apparently, fire hurts his skin. Like most living things. Even though his skin seems to be technically glass. Yeah, but still, it's it's like got uh, a flaming liquid on it. Yeah. It's, that's still very uncomfortable. Also, high heat temperatures. <laughs> they tend to be very uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, and he comes right back for a second one. He's gonna get this right to the face. Jesus. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Because you deserve it. Oh my god, what do you get? How many bottles do you have? One more bottle. That's my last bottle. This is what happens when you get into a stealth game. You don't even care. <laughs> You're just like... Oh yeah, you should have heard me screaming how much I didn't care. You've played so much, like, part where you have to just run away from him, and you're just like, I'm gonna throw a fucking bottle at you. <laughs> I'm gonna throw Molotovs at you until you go away. The second you can fight something in a stealth game, it, you, you, it no longer becomes a stealth game for you. Of course! It's every- it's- you're so stealthy if everyone is dead. Uh. All my friends are dead. All oh, my friends are dead. <laughs> the group of people that you just murdered. Oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I murdered them. Uh. I murdered them very much. The frame rate's pretty low in my my um. Yeah, it playback. Keeps, uh, drop. Yeah, on the playback, it kept dropping. 
I hope that's fine in the video, though. Oh, uh, you can fix that. I'm, it's probably I'm sure you can it's probably that. just the media player being crappy. Uh, nope. Media player is working just fine. I had some frame drops during that. Oh my god. Dude, my computer was being attacked by viruses at that moment. Attacked by viruses? Oh, there comes the pause screen. Yep. Of course, I had to fix the problem. Ah. Uh. I didn't know what the problem was, but... I went to go fix it. It's relevant that we started talking about it just as you go to fix it, huh? Yeah. I think I was complaining to Cameron at this moment. <laughs> like... Yeah, there's my hand hovering over the thing. I like that we can still see the mouse. There's, like, personality in the way you swing your mouse around when you talk. Yeah. And you can kind of still see it through here. I always swing my mouse around when I talk. Oh, and that's... I think that's when it started crashing. Uh, yep. I think that fixed it. For a moment. Well then. I think. Nope. Uh... I forgot what I was doing. How long does it go back on for? then? <laughs> I don't know. Probably a couple minutes. Oh well. Well, so either that. way, they're getting number one, number one audio from us. Number one commentary. Number one. The, the one thing I, I'm probably the most sad about that you're missing the audio is that I can't hear all the weird things you said while talking to yourself. Yeah, I have no like, idea what I said back then. That's probably the favorite part of my. Of of rewatching through your stuff while editing it, dude. It's my favorite part of why rewatching this stuff. Just, but both of us just watch like you from the past. Like, what is he talking about? You don't even know. Of course, I don't know. I'm just like, what am I saying? Oh, you get mouse over zoom button. Oh, it looks like I might be fixing it. No, you're just holding it there. Um, I don't know. I'll know in a minute. Well, oh, there we go. Yep, I fixed it. I might, like, skip through some of that. Yeah, you'll have to fix that. Maybe. I really should turn down that particle effect again. Yeah, perhaps it could be a probably what's kill. It's probably what's killing oh my the God. thing. I looked into that vent and I thought I saw something moving. Oh, yeah, so did I back then. That's why I like ran. I swear I saw something in there. Oh, there he is oh, again. There he is. He just doesn't give up. Of course he doesn't. Oh, and look, there's that one lady. Wait, just there? Yep. She's just sitting there. I told her to go, and she just sits there. Like, she stares off into space. And there's Crank! Oh my god. <laughs> he just shut the door and was like, hello. I was, hello. I was so hoping he'd be Die. gone by the time the door opened. That would've been awesome. And then the lady runs. Also, also she, held, she like held up her hand like she was holding a gun. Of course. She's just, like, she doesn't have a gun, though. She just held up her hand as if she had a gun. I hate doing this thing. Because yeah. I always feel like the aliens go, alien cranks go pop up right behind me when I start this. Yeah, like, everything in this game is like that. Like, every simple action you take takes, like, three times as long as it needs to, just to, like, be like, if the alien's around, he, he might come and get you while you're doing this. Yep. Also, that might That's why that'd be so quickly. uncomfortable to put your hand near, considering you just blowtorch that. Yep. It'd be incredibly uncomfortable. Like, honestly, this is probably making this all better, mind you. Uh, well, look at that little guy. Yeah, that was neat. Just like, I like when they just put little... Like, little um, bobbleheads or... Oh, yeah, I hated that vent. There's like little original things in there that they just threw in, like, tiny cartoon characters or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's when I got my flamethrower back out. He could have used I like my flamethrower. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> really, Cam? Wait, he brought the phone downstairs? Yes, he brought the phone downstairs. Oh my god. It's not even... It's not even the first time we're recording this Cameron speak chick messing it up. Of course. Every time Cameron has to steal... Yeah. Every Let's Play on my channel, Cameron, like, tries to steal the show. You gotta fix that. Oh. Uh, why is everything broken on this ship? Because everything's broken. What do the alien do? Eat the wires? Uh, what? Did the alien like, eat the wires or something? Probably. 
I don't know, Frank. If Crank or Frank gets hungry, or Danky King, who probably they probably eat the wires if there's not enough people. Oh, that's like, but that's like a small colony on the ship, though. Probably a couple hundred thousand, or something like that. He he's totally out of time. That's a pretty big ship when you saw from the outside. This is really big. Say again, Chad. It's a really big ship from the outside. 